Today I'm here with Tom and he is just setting out into the traveling lifestyle. He has been in his van now for a couple of months. He has a really good build that I think you're really gonna like. And so with that, I introduce you to Tom. How's it going? Oh, good. How are we doing, Jamie? Doing really well. I know Thank this guy from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking a moment and, and talking to us about your van. Now let's just start with how did you arrive at the notion that you were going to give a lifestyle like this a shot? I kind of planted it about a year ago, just reading the forum, uh, Cheap RV Living Forum, and just looking at pictures and deciding how I wanted to build a van and buy a van. I had one in the previous years when I was younger. What inspired you to live a traveling lifestyle rather than just retire and move into an apartment or something? I enjoy traveling and built the van and just enjoying it right now. What was the deciding factor in you choosing a van over an RV? Uh, just the size and to be able to get into boondocking spots easier. Okay. And I like the high top, give me a more headroom. Okay, and how did you find this van? Uh, for Craigslist. Okay, so you just went into your local Craigslist market? Right, it came Looking. out of Las Vegas. What did you type in as a search? Uh, vans. Okay. Yeah, under vans, and I, I picked it up. It's a 2002 Ford E150, and I paid like 2,900 for it, which is a pretty good deal. Good mechanically, and I just started working on my conversion. After gutting the all all the insides, taking out the old seats, old carpet. And when you first bought it, was it ready to go mechanically or did you have it looked at and any work done? Actually, my friend, my nephew is a mechanic, so he helped me change all the plugs and coils and the front brakes and check everything out on it, which really helped. So you started with Craigslist, you found the van there, you made the purchase, you, you, you liked what you saw, you didn't see anything major mechanically with it, so you went ahead and made the purchase and yep. had your nephew go through it change the plugs, look at the brakes, and then you set out to build it out. That's, that was the goal. What's that your is. background? I'm a tech, a slot tech, and I've always worked on stuff and built stuff and everything over the years. So you're kind of a handy guy anyway. I've always been that way, oh yeah. And so to create the van in, on the inside the way you wanted, you did the work yourself? Right, I just started kind of a design on paper and start building the frame and added on from there. Sounds good. Would you and mind giving us a look? Basically simple. Start okay. With, yeah. Let's take a look. So it was all new carpet down to the carpet. All the seat belts and, and, cha and chairs were removed. And then I started with all just two by four, two by two frame for the bed. And quarter inch plywood. And just used braces for inside to make it strong enough. Just some L brackets you bought at the hardware Yeah, L brackets at Walmart. And quite a few of them in the screws, mm -hmm. wood screws, and just started with the base. And I said, I need a lot, nice long bed for be able to sleep in comfortably. Is that a full size mattress? That's uh, it's like a twin extra long, but it's a little shorter. And where would you find something like that? A little shorter, wider, this way. This way. Uh, I got this, the foam factory was where I got the foam from. Mm -hmm. Memory foam and regular HD foam. And then over here, this is also the cabinet, which is made out of also two by twos frame with just eighth inch hardboard which is light and I used uh, speaker box carpet from Amazon it's like $25 a roll and I used the 3M spray to uh, stick the carpet on 3M adhesive upholstery yeah, spray spray adhesive right and this is kind of housing for my electronics and solar well it came out really nice and the battery I my one Walmart battery in the back which handles my cooler. It looks great. How many amp hours uh -huh. is the battery? Uh, that's 110 I believe. So 110 amp hours. Is it the uh, marine hybrid? Yeah, that's the Walmart top, you know, the, the biggest one they had. And what's something like that run if you don't mind me asking? It was about 95 dollars. $95. Did you get an extended warranty with it? Do they offer that? They do, but I figured a year is good enough. Okay, so it comes with a year warranty and You've got your battery, which means you've got solar panels. Tell us a little bit about that. I have a uh, fence flex panel, 100 watt flex panel on the top. I know. And are those the adhesive type panels? I use just industrial Velcro to fasten it on there. Okay. Yeah, industrial Velcro only. 
So you've got one 100 watt panel powering a 95 amp hour battery, which I think is a good lesson for someone starting out as a rule of thumb, the amount of watts of solar should be roughly around the amount of amp hours that the battery can hold. You want those numbers to be about the same. And so in Tom's case, he's got 195, so you're right in there. What I have, the cabinet extends out here because I have a, a pneumatic cooler, the CF25, which runs off the 12 volts and holds and my... Where, where did you get that goodies? refrigerator? Uh, off of eBay. The countertop is tile, uh, big pieces of tile from Home Depot. And the same carpet, two by two framing. This is plywood in the back to fasten and stuff too with the carpet. And just some little racks are in there. And there's there's actually a shelf here with a little lip on it so I can just pull the basket. I got pans for any miscellaneous stuff. And I got a little room down here with my and storage from the original you know van conversion. It's all the way around. And I added some RV lights, which are really bright. Right there. I have a fantastic fan control right here for multi speeds. A wall remote that I acquired off eBay. This has speed and a thermostat temperature control. And also has a rain sensor built into it, which is handy. What's something like that run with all those features? No, this one is about 250. I got it for about 100. Is it used or? Because I didn't have, I had to find this control unit here. The Fantastic Fan is an industry standard that a lot of folks use. It's got a very low draw, 12 volt uh, fan, and you can get it with a lot of features if you want, all the way up to 250 bucks. The basic one, the one that's 100 is, uh, just being able to open the vent, the vent and having the, the exhaust come out is, is good. So fully loaded, you're looking at some place around 250 or maybe a little bit north of that, but you can drop down if there's features you don't want, such as the, one of the features that Tom has on his fan is that when it rains, the fan senses that it's raining and the lid closes down so the right. rain doesn't get into the inside of your vehicle if you're off on a walk or in the casino having the buffet or whatever and it starts <laughs> raining, that lid will close. And how easy was it to install? Uh, it was real tricky, as you know, from yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, we did a install yesterday. Without and taking the ceiling off, the original ceiling, it was hard to cut through all the different wood that layers that were there. So, so if, got... if it's your first time installing a fantastic fan, get somebody that's a handyman or somebody you trust to give you a hand with it. But uh, nothing you can't sort through. Definitely, yeah. Right on. Well, thanks for showing us the fan, man. Definitely helpful. Appreciate yeah. it. All right, Jim. You got to get out of here, kid. And that's the LED, LED strip installed into the original old overhead which just about the right brightness looks great what would you guess your your standing height is in here i can stand up just back like that and tisha's standing all the way up and she's short that's so that's good and she's got a little clearance so that's cool and you've got a shelf here that you bought or uh, some bins yeah, with this is a wall, just shelf. a walmart three uh drawers a cabinet plastic that I bought from Walmart. What's something like that, Ron? It was about $40. $40, and that way you can keep your clothes and miscellaneous right. equipment yeah, nice and neat. bathroom stuff and clothes and some kitchen stuff in the bottom that's heavy. Heaviest stuff goes to the bottom so it isn't tippy, and it looks like you've also got a bungee on there so it doesn't the sl doors don't slide but out while you're driving. Most that's important, smart. Yeah, most importantly, I have L brackets on both sides that mounts to the, the strong wood part here and also the cabinet. And the bed storage is quite a bit of storage underneath. See the framing. So you've got two separate doors. This, this is kind of hinged. It's hinged right there. See how I did it? Yes. It's only quarter inch plywood, which is fine, because I got it braced good enough, and the, the two by two is strong. And you've got some milk crates. Yeah, for like uh, to separate things out. For so auto it's not a big road toy stuff box. like the jacks and stuff like that. What advice would you give to anybody that's looking to do what you're doing F through the process of, of what you've learned from doing this? Is there any advice that you would give somebody to help them with their build that might be watching? I just got all the inf got all the uh, ideas from watching videos and looking at pictures online. You know, clearing out the van really helped as a good start for the base. Have you know bare canvas to work from. 
Uh, just uh, yeah, just go forward and enjoy enjoy life. Any any mistakes that you would caution folks against making? Not even that you made them. Just I would say right. be careful about this. Yeah, just I can't. <laughs> You just don't make mistakes, man. I'm just like, uh, <laughs> I built it, I'm living in it, and I'm enjoying myself right now. Okay, what do you do to, to while away the hours in your new retired time besides traveling? I play guitar, of course. So you've got your guitar with you? Right, and my amp, a little portable amp. Okay. And just enjoy traveling, I'm gonna do some more traveling in the future. Any funny stories that you'd like to share with us that have happened with you since you started on the road? Like, what's the funniest thing that's happened to you? Just a lot of driving and meeting different people, but nothing really that I remember that I can recall right offhand. Well, thanks, man. I really appreciate you taking time to share your van build with us, and I wish you all the luck in the world moving forward. I, you and I have camped we out are. quite a yeah. few times oh, and yeah. had a blast, and I know it's just going to continue. Definitely. So thanks a lot, man. Oh, right, Jamie, thanks. I man. appreciate it. Thanks for the tour. Right, thanks, See man. you guys. <laughs> Yeah.